Okay. Do 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 science. 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 Do 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 science. Do 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 science. Do 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 do. You done? Done. Hey guys, hope you guys are still doing well. Today I'm gonna be going over your April twentieth assignment. We're gonna be learning the rules for naming different acids. So just to look at what is on your calendar, I'm looking here. I'm going to be doing a naming, naming acids video and then a naming bases video as well as our conjugate acids and bases. And then you guys will have some assignments to do for the rest of the week. Um, so kind of a lot of videos to watch, but hopefully the assignments should be pretty easy after watching these. And then we already have another test coming up next week. So just to take a look at your actual assignment that was shared with you. This is what should have been shared with you and I do have the rules for naming acids right up top here <clears throat> but I will be going over those with you just to make sure that you understand what's going on and then in a separate video I'll be going over the bases. What you'll need to be doing to name your acids is you're going to need to identify the different parts of the compound. So I know this goes way back to semester one when we were talking about ionic and covalent compounds but I promise it'll be easy it won't be too difficult each compound that you will see and any compound will always be made up of a cation and an anion and you're going to need to identify each of those and the way to, to do that is your cation is always listed first and your anion is always listed second again remember that cations just mean that they have a positive net charge and anions have a negative net charge so if you had a compound, let's say sodium chloride. Can you see those are different colors? Not really. Hold up. Um, sodium chloride. Cool. So if this is our cation and this is our anion, Okay. All this means is that the sodium had a positive charge and the chlorine had a negative charge and then when they combined together they were a neutral net charge. So what you will need to do to identify or sorry to name your acids is to simply identify your parts of your compound. All of your acids are going to start with a hydrogen compound. Your hydrogen will always be your cation. So an example of a acid that you might see could be HCl. And so what you'll know is that, trying to color code this, your hydrogen will, always, will be your cation and it will always be your cation and your chlorine will be your anion. With me so far. After you've identified your cation and anion, all you need to do is look at the name of your anion. In this case, it was chloride. I will see that chloride ends in an IDE. And so there are three different rules. There's going to be an IDE rule, there's going to be an ATE rule, and there's going to be an ITE rule. And based on how those end, you will name your acid. And I'll give you those um, naming rules, but since this ends in IDE, I know that this is going to be a hydro blank ic acid, and in this case, that blank is going to be the chloro hydrochloric acid, is our final answer here for naming that. I will list out all of these rules for you so that you can see them. But like I said, there's an IDE, an ATE, and an ITE, and then I'll list out the steps. So if you just give me a second here, let me write those out. So these are the rules. I did one ending in ide, so we had hydrogen and chloride. And so my anion ended in that IDE. And so I know that my acid is going to be a hydrochloric 
acid. I'm going to do an example with 8 and it. For 8, we have H2SO4. Again, your hydrogen is always going to be your cation. And your piece that follows will always be your anion. In this case, our anion is a polyatomic anion, meaning that it is more than one element. So before we just had chlorine and we knew that chlorine or chloride always ended in the IDE. In this one, you're going to have to look up what SO4 is. I know that SO4 is a sulfate, so I'm going to name that anion as sulfate. And I know now that my ending is at ATE, so I'll find my ATE rule and it tells me that it's going to be blank ic acid. Again, that blank is whatever your root is of this word. So it's going to be sulfuric acid. And then finally, I'll do an example with this ITE. If we had HNO2, again, your hydrogen is always going to be your cation. And then anything that comes after that will be your anion. And in this case, I'm going to need to look up what NO2 is. And I know NO2 to be nitrite. So I have that ITE ending. And my ITE rule is blank OUS acid. So in this case, it's going to be nitrous acid. Hopefully, those make sense as far as the rules go. If you're confused as to how I'm doing this and those steps aren't quite making sense seeing it, um, I am going to write out these steps for you. Step one, identify cation and anion. And again, the important piece there is your anion. For acids, your cation will always, always be that hydrogen. And it could be multiple hydrogen, so like an H2 or an H3. Um, then you're going to name that anion. So in the meantime, you'll ignore the hydrogen and just look up either that element. And if it's an element, it will usually end in that IDE, or it's going to be a polyatomic ion. And that's where you're going to see your eights and your ites. After you name the ion, your next step is going to be to follow the rule for either it, eight, or eyed endings. And then you'll just follow those steps. So your last one is going to be to name it. Fill in the blank as needed, and you have the name of your acid. Hopefully this helps. And then if you guys have any questions, be sure to be emailing me with those questions. I like hearing from you guys. You can never, ever, ever ask too many questions. Do 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 science. Do 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 science. Do 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 science. Do 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 science. Do 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 science. Do 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 science.